Good morning. <clears throat> Today is the second day of February in this 2023rd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, it looks like spring will be coming earlier than later uh, here in Myrtle Beach as it is overcast. And if there are groundhogs in South Carolina, I don't think they're going to be seeing any shadow today. That's probably a different story for Puxatana Phil. They seem to find a way for him to always see his shadow so that spring will come when spring comes. And that's probably right and good. Um, so uh, best of luck, Phil. I do hope that you will perhaps not see your shadow for the good people of the north that uh, their spring might come a little earlier as well. We have an over, overcast day. It's cloudy. The temperatures have dropped. I think that cold front's uh, moving on through now uh, that we're anticipating for a colder weekend. So stay warm wherever you are and enjoy this day. Um, a prayer from Martin Luther, and let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, I consider myself your dear child and you, my beloved Father, not because I deserve it nor could ever merit it, but because my dear Lord, your only begotten Son, Jesus, would be my brother. Of his own accord, he offers and makes this blessing known to me. Since I may consider myself his brother, as he regards me, will you permit me to become and remain a child of yours forever. Amen. John's Gospel, the 15th chapter. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, ask for whatever you will, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus. Luther writes in a devotion entitled Tending the Vineyard. This passage presents a, confound, a, com a comforting picture. Christ understood all the suffering that he and his followers would experience as nothing else but the work of a diligent gardener. Grapevines can grow and produce much fruit only with careful tending by the gardener. Christ wants to teach us that we should look at trials and sufferings very differently from the way they appear and feel to us in this world. Suffering doesn't occur apart from God's will. It's not a sign of his anger. Rather, it's a sign of his mercy and his fatherly love. It serves for, it, it will serve for the best. It's an art to believe that what hurts and distresses us doesn't occur to harm us, but to make us improve. What if the vine were aware of this, could talk, and could see the gardener cutting away its roots with a hoe? What if it could see the gardener pruning its branches with a pruning knife? After seeing and feeling all of this, it might say, oh, what are you doing? Now I will wither and, and spoil because you are working on me, taking my soil away from me and scraping me with those iron teeth. You are tearing and pinching me everywhere, leaving me to stand here half naked. You are crueler to me than you are to other trees and plants. But the gardener would reply, you just don't understand. If I cut off a branch, it's because it's a useless branch which takes strength and sap away from you. 
the other branches won't be able to produce fruit and will also begin to fail. So off it goes. It's for your own good. I am doing it so you will yield more fruit and be able to produce good wine. And let us pray. Tend us, O Lord, as the true vine grower. Where we sin and where we fumble and stumble in this life, prune and trim away that. Give us sustenance from the good soil that you till around us. Give us help and hope from the strength that is born by this process. Help us to abide in your word, your holy word, which informs us of your ways and your will through such imagery as the vine and the vineyard grower. Tend us and care for us as your own, according to your good will, which is always good for us. Where we err, strengthen us and encourage us. Where we sin, remove that from our lives that we might not harm others and self and live more according to your will. Grant us thankful hearts for the blessings of this day, for the life that we have. Might it be trials and tribulations that we face, let us know that we are not alone in that process, but that you bear us up as on eagles' wings strengthen and encourage us in each moment of life and help us to be true reflections of your presence to this world. Abide with the peoples of the Ukraine that their war might end and peace might be restored, especially for them and for other nations and internally in some nations that are in conflict. Bring resolve, bring help, bring your guiding ways care for those for whom we care in concern for for healing and well-being. We pray for Linda Miller, for Bob Taylor, for 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 Miriam Martin, for Tom and Nikki and Lisa, for Billy Fails, for for Evelyn Rag, James Rag, for Evelyn Tompkins, and for each that we commend to your keeping in these moments of silence. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen.